Boy Who Harnessed the Wind is the story about a 13-year-old boy in Malawi, William Kamkwamba. In 2001-2002, Malawi that time suffered an enormous famine, and him and his family were under this enormous pressure. The hotel was in Kasungu, which is a small city in the middle of Africa. It's a small city. Because of the global warming, Malawi went through a float and through a drought. Food ran low, and then the wider community was affected. The main struggle that William's family faces is poverty. When the drought happened, then it was the time that I was supposed to go to high school and my parents couldn't afford to pay for my school fees. The whole life was disrupted because of the drought. William envisions something that we've never seen before, a hydroelectric windmill. I can bring water. I know how to do it. I just sort of completely fell in love with this story. It was just one of those extraordinary teleportation experiences of just being transported into this completely different space and into the middle of this extraordinary cultural moment. This story is amazing because it shows how one individual with a vision can change the fate of many people. It is also reflective of the nature of society, a nature of community and the community coming together and how when we support each other in certain ways, we can achieve things beyond even things that we could have dreamt of. The story is definitely a triumph of human determination because were it not for his determination and resilience, he wouldn't have come out strongly the way he did and the way we are talking about him right now. When you listen to the news, in a way you can feel helpless. A film like The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind shows how possible it is to change. You don't lose something by failing, but you lose something by not trying.